Kenyatta Okia Omtata has Friday stood his ground in his fight for the Constitution, accusing the government of smearing the judiciary negatively. The senator, come human rights defender, has called out the head of state on his allegations of judicial corruption without any evidence. Stanley Nyaringita kicks us off tonight. In his steadfast fight for the Constitution, Busia Senator Kiyom Tata has condemned the Tuesday remarks by President William Ruto, directing his executive to defy court orders obtained by corrupt means. His authority, which is the presidency. Speaking in Nairobi Friday, the Senator Kam Human Rights Defender has asked the President to soften his hardline stances and apologize to the judiciary as well as Kenyans. Omtata has faulted the head of state for smearing the judiciary negatively by not providing evidence on his allegations of corrupt judicial officers. No, just standing there and mismatching people is not right. These judges have a right to a good reputation. It's enshrined in the constitution. So that reputation cannot just be played around by anybody, not even by the president. If he has evidence, let him raise the issue. In his charm offensive, the Busia legislator has further distanced himself from any allegations of bribe giving to any judge presiding over cases that challenge the legality of the housing fund levy. In fact, we want a situation whereby we are able to support the president and rally behind his projects for this country. But not a situation whereby he, he is using the projects he has to undermine and overthrow the constitution. We can't allow that. Those who are corrupt in the judiciary must be called out for corruption without undermining the independence of the judiciary. On his part, a National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Shungwa has called upon the Law Society of Kenya President to act upon corrupt members of bar who are conduit of corruption in the judiciary. Part of the reason why we are in the trouble we are in is because of past cases of state capture and corruption in our country, including corruption in the judiciary. And I thank you, Paul, because you have not shied away from stating facts as they are, that we got to a point where even part of our judiciary system was captured by the former regime. Despite the alleged smear campaign on the judiciary by the government, the legal fraternity has stood its ground on the planned peaceful nationwide protests to champion for the independence of the judiciary. With the big question being, is this a clean-up on the judiciary or a witch hunt? Thank you, Stanley Nyaringita, for that.